What up, people? It's your boy, Master Judy, out here with another comic review. So we have Teen Titans, number 16, Target Starfire. As you can see, after everything that's happened, we are having, we're getting a little bit back to the basics. We see Marv Wolfman, once again, who created the Teen Titans, is writing this book. And the art is pretty good. It's a little bit reminiscent of an older style, but I pretty much appreciate it. And, you know, it's, it's nice to just focus and do some good old superhero things. So let's get into it. So we just see um, somebody spying on the Titans. And we already have a nice action scene. Starfire, Beast Boy, Raven facing Mammoth, basically. And we just see um, people are saying the Tabernian screeners, three of the five, seven bioscans. We have control over her opponent. His attack will force her to force her solar absorption levels to the maximum. Implement Micron by Micron Body Pro was required. Readout full required. So, uh, so we just see them fighting Mammoth, and she's wondering what set off Mammoth this time. It's like you forget who you're talking about, okay? It could be like anything. He once tried to kill me because I removed a giant thorn from his paw. It's like he knew he who knew he liked pain. And you just see Argus. Basically, Argus is in here. They're trying to tell them to stand down and handle the prisoner. No reason to risk our lives unless we had. Well, they're just telling them, yeah, let the Titans handle it. So you just see um, Marv Wolfman, the writer. Tom Derenick is the penciler, artist. Trevor Scott's the inker. Jim Char Charlamptis is the colorist. Corey Breen is the letterer. Sam Bassery and Jessica Cloen did the cover, of course. And Sinclair and Harden did the mar um, variant. And, of course, Brian Cunningham is the group editor. So, get into it. We just see them fighting. And then we just see Raven tell Starfire that her social smooth position that let's give him more than we can handle. So she keeps fighting. And she's like, let's expect to prepare level 2 examinations. We need to be certain. So Starfire, I'm ready. Great. And Beast Boy, please stay out the way. I do love, I do so love being appreciated. It's like, okay, Raven, 3, 2, 1. So she blasts them. And she gets sucked in. He gets sucked into the void. Like he's got it, will no longer be a threat. And then Beast Boy's like, hold on, where, where, where is he gone? It's like, you didn't kill him, did you? It's like, relax, Gar. I teleported him to a purgatory dimension until Argus can properly contain him. I do not kill. Although sometimes he make me reconsider that rule. It's like, haha, that's hilarious. So, so basically, people who are watching are saying that their scans are finally complete. 30 minutes later, they managed to, Argus manages to get, um, Man under control. It's like, all right, you kids did your job. The adults will take over. And then Star is like, oh, no gratitude. For, and she's like, forget it. He's your problem now. Let us go. And Starfire sees Raven and Beast Boy talking. It's like, guys, what are you doing? So you're doing, oh, you know, just talking. Young people stuff. You wouldn't be interested. And Starfire, of course, being a very emotional person, takes it the wrong way. It's like, it's like Garfield, that was insensitive. It's like, I just want to be alone. You know how Corey can be in your face at times. And then Corey's taking it to heart. It's like young people stuff. I'm what, three years older than them? <laughs> it's like, what is their problem with me? And we just see Cap and then we just see the people watching her telling her it's time to pretty much capture her. Com commence apprehension protocol. So we just see these bugs are attaching to random people, taking them over. We just see the panels nicely done. Boom. Then she's flying pretty much like young people stuff. What in all names does that even mean? I'm a young person, aren't I? So what did I do to make Beast Boy and Raven hate me? Oh, yeah. I mean, I love them. Maybe they hate me because I did old people stuff to them? <laughs> so apparently everybody's in position. And now they're coordinating the attack and they're attacking Starfire. Boom, it's like, they're being controlled. I don't want to hurt them. But they leave me no choice, so she starts blasting them. And she takes one down. It's like, no. It's like, it doesn't matter what he tried to do to me. I'm not letting him die. Say, hold on, I'm taking you to the hospital. They will help you. Trust me. So, she takes to the hospital. Jesse, eh? Doctor, you need to check out these readings. Something's wrong. Say, doctor? Oh, God. Say, Raven, come on, pick up. This is an emergency. Raven? Garfield. This is Corey. Will you please pick up? He's like, ah. Say, Gar, playing games. I understand. But Raven? And we just hear somebody scream. Say, now what? Okay, she rushes into action. And she sees that everybody's being taken control of. She's like, Zal, <laughs> just like old Russian Starfire's like, on Tamaran, on Tamaran, I was trained by the warlords of Okara. Tr 
training meant fighting the enemy, which you understood how their bodies function. Learning their strengths, you can exploit their weaknesses. Works all works for all sentience. But I do not understand how the body of this man has been replaced with mechanics. Doesn't matter. I've got to focus. So she blasts him again. It's like he's absorbing my starboards. How is this possible? It's like he was designed to fight me. And then she's like, first rule of Okara, pay attention to the enemy. Let your mind wander even for an instant and you're dead. Worry about the who and why instead of how to stop them and you're dead. And we just see her getting blasted. You just see more people are taking them. And she's realizing that they're here to make her take her prisoner, basically. So she throws him into. It's like, it makes him mine. So she's free at the moment. She's still um, held on. And she manages to cut the thing off. It's like, and she's trying to contact her, she's trying to contact her comrades, or even in baseball, but she's not getting them, nothing. It's like, this doesn't like them. Maybe they're not ignoring me. Maybe, you can just see Zal, you just see them, she take it again. It's like, she's been captured, now the people who are, who are examining her, they're like, ah. Oh. And she realized they're scions, and we get the description of who they are. A race of cold-blooded scientists who only care about their research and not about the lives of their subjects. They captured me long before I escaped to Earth and subjected me to torture. I will never forget. And it's like, Tamaran, Tamaradian, when we last met together, we learned the, the extent of your ability to convert solar energy into power. Now we wish to analyze tam the Tamaradian's pain process. Prepare yourself. This will be excruciating. So, she remembers the none of the memories were good the last time they played with my mind, but they made me believe I was on Tamarind as its atmosphere was sucked into space. I explode in the vacuum to be remembered again. And she's like, I never let them beat me, so she just uses her power and busts out. Look at that power. And they never will say, you thought you were testing the limits of my powers? Well, you got what you wanted, but you have no idea what you've unleashed. So, very Storm-esque, basically. I like that. Look at that. Look at these shots, man. Looking very powerful. So, she stops everything, but she hears the name. Stop her, stop. You just see Raven, Beast Boys, I thank the Warlords. Corey, you're just in time. It's like, surrender. Surrender? Like, and we just see that they have been taken over. And just see, we need you alive. That doesn't mean we can't hurt you. So, they start attacking Starfire. It's like, they've been taken, they've been taken over. But unlike the others, Garfield and Raven have powers. It's like, and they're under control of an enemy more than willing to use them. And we just see this nice transformation of Raven soul thing become integrated with technology. I think that's pretty nice. Like, Raven, listen to me. You're an empath. Read my emotions. It's like, Gar, you're my friend. We've always been friends. It's like, the sign mechanics stay with Gar even after he morphs. Not That's not good. So we just see... It's like, science control is absolute. But then, of course, like in the Raven book, she remembers advice Robin gave. It's like, wait... Robin always said, if one course action keeps failing, try the opposite. My target should be my friends. My target should be the machines that turn my friends into enemies. So she just basically goes, like says, Scions, when you, created, when you increased my ability to process solar radiation, you made me stronger than ever was. You created your own worst enemy. So she just blows up the whole headquarters. Boom. It's like, Starfire's down, she's in pain, but I can remove it. It's like, you are back. Both of you are back. And, you know, they give her a hug and, you know, the thing like this. And she's like, we have to deal with the Scions. Got a little original Teen Titans showing. It's like, let me handle them. So we see that later. It's like, Arkham? No. Blackgate already answered, still no. It's like, come on, Raven, where did you send the Scions? Some things are better left unsaid. <laughs> not known, Gar. It's like, but everything, but not everything, Gar. Earlier today, why did you call me old? Why do you not like me? And you just see people say, not like you, Corey. Of course I like you. I was just asking Raven for advice on my dating profile, and I told him he was beyond my help. Uh, you think I'm queer, don't you, Goldie? You're saying, are you saying this old person's opinions are important to you? So she just leaves with a nice smug look at that. Look at that photo. Mm. Let me just see. I think you're just like, hold on, tell me, and you just see Corey, and we just see a nice end. So next issue, Battle for Beast Boy Soul. So this was a fun book, you know. It's nice to see Starfire get some action. And she did very well. And I give it, you know, a good 8.5 out of 10. It was just there after all that's happened with the Super Sons of Tomorrow. And we get to focus on three original Teen Titans that we all know and love. 
So thank y'all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notifications. Make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, so we can discuss good comics and I can get your opinions on them. Thank y'all for watching. I should have more videos up later today.